Can intermittent fasting really help women with PCOS or could it do more harm than good? Some studies suggest that insulin resistance, which is a common contributor to PCOS, may respond to intermittent fasting, but it depends upon how it's practiced. Some forms of intermittent fasting involve restricting calories significantly every other day of the week or at least two out of seven days. But there is a form of intermittent fasting often called extended time fasting where you try to corral your eating into a 12 hour daytime aligned window, say 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. for example, and then allow your body to rest or fast for 12 hours overnight, say 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. The key is that if it's practiced in a way that's over restrictive, it can disrupt hormones, um, particularly if there's extreme restriction or a lot of skipped meals going on. This is very stressful to the body, which may be potentially detrimental in someone trying to conceive. The key is balance, sustainability, moderation, some mindful attention to calorie control, a lot of emphasis on plant forward eating and regular physical activity rather than practicing strict fasting protocols.